Hello everyone. This is Urja Pawar. I am a second year PhD student under advanced program in Corp Institute of Technology. And I am here to present my paper on incorporating explainable artificial intelligence to aid machine learning in healthcare. And so let's start with first discussing what explainable AI is. So typically in AI based systems, we feed the data to the model and get the predictions. But when these automated systems are used in making crucial decisions, such as diagnosing a disease, it's important to understand how the model operates and or why a certain prediction was made. To understand the how, the model needs to be transparent or interpretable. Interpretability is the degree to which rationale of a system's operation can be observed within that system. To understand the why, the predictions need to be explained to the end user and that is known as explainability, which is the degree to which outputs of automated systems can be explained in human terms. Explainable AI is a domain in which techniques are designed to make AI-based systems interpretable and explainable. Explainable AI is also known as XAI. Now, there are many challenges and associated issues in the domain of XAI. We will discuss some of them in the context of a standard ML workflow that is shown here. Designing domain agnostic systems with XAI is challenging as explanations require context of the domain. Some explanations can be useful for a targeted perspective, but trivial for others. For instance, presenting interactive visualizations to explain layers of a neural network is beneficial for data scientists, but of less importance to the radiologist who use the neural network for analyzing MRI scans. Integrating XAI in a standard ML workflow is therefore challenging as it needs to benefit multiple perspectives. The scope of XAI for AI-based solutions is broader than the ML model. It also concerns with the explainability of underlying data as well as the pre-processing techniques, including feature engineering used for preparing the training data. And this is important. For instance, the ML models that are used to predict a disease based on patient's medical record might be inappropriate if the underlying training data does not include records from similar demographics. The subjective applicability of XAI is another big challenge. For example, in real world, different healthcare facilities have different levels of access to the medical data. It's important to understand how a single model trained for diagnosing a particular disease operate when subjected to these different settings. Now, based on this identified set of associated issues, we propose a simple yet a powerful technique, feature importance to provide initial steps to solve the issues and enable some level of explainability. Feature importance, abbreviated here as FI, is a set of techniques that assign FI scores to the participating features that have been used to train a ML model, such that these scores represent contribution of each feature while deriving outcome from a model. In this paper, two FI techniques have been used. The first is based on Shapley values that calculate FI scores by considering marginal change in model's output on including and excluding a feature all in a weighted format. FI scores in this case are output based. The second technique is inherent to decision tree model where FI score of a feature are calculated by considering presence of that feature in the nodes of the decision tree. If a feature is present at the root node level, the FI scores will be high and vice versa. FI scores in this case represent what the model learned. So they are model based. As Shapley is a post hoc feature importance technique and by post hoc I mean FI scores are calculated after a model is trained, it is applied after a model is trained and the FI scores generated will be indicative of how impactful a feature is to cause a change in model's output. On the other hand, FI scores determined by decision trees are anti hoc and by anti hoc I mean the FI scores are automatically calculated when the decision trees was learning from the data. And so they describe the inherent operation of the model and indicate how much important a feature is considered by a model. 
Here is the workflow that incorporates feature importance step in a domain agnostic manner after training the model to generate FI scores and associate them with performance metrics. This is to enable three approaches that are proposed to address the issues discussed. The dataset used is a cervical cancer risk factor dataset from UCI repository, and the model selected is the decision trees model for its inherent interpretability. The dataset initially had very less number of positive biopsy records as compared to the negative biopsy records, and so from the basic apart from the basic pre-processing, we applied some augmentation techniques in the form of sampling to address the class imbalance problem. We applied three types of sampling techniques here. First is oversampling in which we increase the number of records corresponding to the minority class. The next is undersampling in which we decrease the number of records corresponding to the majority class. And in the, undersam in the combination sampling, we have both oversampling and undersampling. So let's discuss the proposed approaches one by one. In the first approach, FI scores are generated using the two distinct FI techniques output-based shapeless FI and model-based decision trees FI. The FI scores are then ranked in descending order. There should be a consensus between ranking of medical features as per clinical expertise and the ranking derived from the model. And this approach enables achieving that consensus by presenting models ranking of features to clinicians. It also enables a comparison of impactful features represented by Shapley's FI versus important features represented by Decision Tree's FI by the data scientist for tuning models to enable a justified operation in a medical setting. In the second approach, FI scores are calculated when the model is trained on different subsets of features. In this work, we have used a compounded omission of highest ranked features to form those subsets and then analyze the FI scores in association with the performance metric F score, which is the harmonic mean of precision and recall. This is important because associated with different healthcare settings are different approaches to medical diagnosis and a ML model that is selected for diagnosing a particular disease will operate differently in different settings. This is indicated by difference in FI scores, feature ranking, and performance metrics in different settings. The association between inclusion and exclusion of medical features and the corresponding FI scores and performance metrics can enable data scientists to understand operation of a model designed to diagnose, diagnose a disease in the hierarchical structure of medical settings. Where in one setting, future can be limited to medical history, while in some other setting, results of medical tests are also available. This could also be utilized for prompting appropriate medical tests based on the trade-off between their cost and the performance gained after including them. In the third approach, the FI scores and performance metrics associated with data derived using different augmentation techniques are presented. This is important as underlying trading data matters a lot and can be a cause of models poor performance if it is not properly pre-processed. For example, in the cervical cancer data set, if 75% of the records are of women over 50 years of age, then the model will not be appropriate to be applied on medical record of a young woman whose age is say 26. And so this approach can enable medical practitioners to understand effects of different augmentation techniques on models operation as well as performance. And based on this understanding, they can establish a baseline by providing a validated feature ranking and desired performance metrics. This baseline can enable better selection of augmentation techniques by the data scientist. Let's now have a look at the results presented in the form of visualizations that are derived from each of the proposed approaches. For the first approach, here's a plot with FI scores in the x-axis and features in the y-axis. The top bars represent FI scores indicated by decision trees and the bottom stripped bar represent the FI scores calculated using Shapley. Features are ranked in accordance to the FI scores generated by the decision trees that approximately matches with the ranking provided by Shapley. Hinselman examination, also known as colposcopy, is an examination of the cervix area to detect presence of abnormal cells that indicate cervical cancer. Cytology is a single cell examination that is typically used for diagnosing cancer. As the results of these two tests are highly correlated with the final BAPS results, they are given the highest importance by both of the FI techniques. 
In the case of feature age, it is seen that the trained decision tree model considered it as an important feature while making a classification. But according to Shapley values, feature age is not that impactful. It provides an interesting ground to be analyzed by data scientists on why this is the case. Is it because of less diversity in age values while calculating Shapley values? Is it because other features beneath it are in fact a better indicator of diagnosing with a cervical cancer? And so on. Now, using the second approach, we first train the model with all the features and then keep excluding the highest ranked features from the previous instance of the model. We plot the FI scores corresponding to different features in each iteration of the trained model. The omitted features is indicated in the x-axis and the width of each colored bar represents the FI score corresponding to different features. Note that features with very low FI scores are represented by other stack with brown colored bar. We can observe that on excluding important features, the total sum of FI scores assigned to features keeps on decreasing because of their low correlation with the biopsy results. And this also impacts the performance metric F score that is reduced to 66% from 98%. This can enable data scientists to understand the association of lower FI scores with the performance. Another important thing to observe is that in the case of model trained with all the features, Schiller test, which is an advanced medical test for specifically diagnosing cervical cancer, is given the highest importance, as indicated by the orange bar, because of its obvious high correlation with the biopsy results. Followed by Schiller is the feature age, that is the yellow bar, and so on. Now, when we exclude Schiller in the next iteration of the model, Hinselman examination or colposcopy represented by the gray bar is assigned the highest importance instead of age. This indicates that the feature ranking differs while training the same model in different subsets of features. And because it is a single decision tree model, this discrepancy indicates that if Schiller test is available, Hinselman examination is irrelevant to the model as it is assigned a very low importance score. This analysis can be useful for medical practitioner when considering which test to request for diagnosis. Schiller test is a specific test for diagnosing cervical cancer, whereas Hinselman examination is an evaluation of cervix region to detect presence of abnormal cells that might be small and non-cancerous. And so Schiller test is highly correlated with cervical cancer as compared to the Hinselman exam. Using the third approach, the FI scores associated with differently augmented data is presented. Each colored bar corresponds to a data sampling technique applied for balancing the data. Here, if we analyze the FI score assigned to feature age and cytology, we see that in the original and an undersampled data set, NCUS stands for Neighborhood Cleaning Undersampling, indicated by the dark blue and the dark red bars respectively, age is assigned more importance than cytology, while in all the other cases, it's vice versa. This is invalid as cytology is a proven diagnostic aid for cervical cancer and a biological feature as simple as age cannot be better than cytology in predicting cervical cancer. This can be basis for further analysis such as the one presented here. The difference between the mean and mode age values between positive and negative records is more in the case of original and NCUS dataset as compared to the other datasets. This might give rise to high correlation between age and biopsy results in original and NCUS datasets, resulting in their high FI score. That is not actually appropriate. The performance metric associated with each of the data augmentation techniques also suggests that original and NCUS datasets results in poor performance score of about 91% as compared to random oversampling that gives you know, 97% of accuracy and other combination sampling techniques as well. This approach provides initial steps to enable a flow of clinical expertise by making underlying workflow explainable. And this can benefit data scientists to use the expertise along with the performance metrics to create better and better models. In conclusion, this paper presents an alternative perspective on using feature importance technique to enable explainability to multiple perspectives in a domain agnostic manner. We proposed three approaches in which the first approach was based on relative feature ranking that can be used to achieve consensus between models feature ranking and clinical expertise. 
The second approach can enable analysis of models' performance in different medical settings. And the third approach can be used to understand the underlying data and its pre-processing based on its impact on models' feature ranking as well as the performance. We plan to extend this work by demonstrating its applicability and utility. The hierarchical structure of medical settings can be modeled and the proposed approaches can be used to build an automated prompting service to prompt the next best medical features to include in the diagnosis based on a validated feature ranking and an expected performance gain. Thank you and I will be happy to answer if any one of you has any questions, please reach out to me at uja.pavar at the rate myciit.ie.